contemplating what to do on this rust on this chassis so been doing some reading and I know navel jelly works but if I could just clean this front portion off the back really looks okay well that works you can see the difference between here and right there where I haven't put any haven't done the top of the tuner yet either but it works it's it, it cleans the it cleans the rust off now I suppose the longer you leave it on the more it would clean off because I'm just I'm just putting it on with a toothbrush right in there I may put it on there and leave it for a few minutes just to see if it works better but pretty impressive it it, it does work and this is this is actually a Sark's Tarzian, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but anyway, well-known tuner company. They made tuners for a lot of TVs. So that uncovered that when I cleaned it off. I think this chassis looks cleaner now than the other chassis. <laughs> but I, I probably won't do anything to it. I may wipe it off a little bit, just in areas you can see. The last thing I wanted to do on the chassis before I call it completed, uh, it does have a DC fuse, but does not have an AC fuse. So, put one in it. Mounted it right there. And just ran it to one side of the AC on the side that goes to the power switch. So, it gives a little more protection there in case something happens. And according to the SAMs, this set draws approximately 1.2 amps. So I put a one and a half amp fuse, so that's just slightly larger than the current draw. So that wraps up the chassis. Here's all the parts that I had to change in the TV. Uh, of course, all these old paper wax caps, some resistors scattered in among the parts, the two rectifiers, and the 1B3 was back. It came on, had high voltage, but it was arcing down in the center of it. So I had to replace that too. Now for the harder part, I do something with this cabinet. I'm taking the front off. Do a little work on it. It's got some dents in it. And this protective screen is still on the TV, and that's just a piece of plastic. So it's got little short Phillips or little small Phillips screws. And we'll take it out and be easier to clean the cabinet that way. You can see the difference here. See how light colored that is? Now this is stained. It'd be nice to be able to get that cleaned. To where it looked like that but I don't know a lot of grime on there the protective lens looks pretty good just a couple of light scratches I may use some plastic polish and try to get those out but not bad I think this front is copper because it's it's very soft bends easily and it looks like copper there. Well, after cleaning it up, it does look better. But I've about decided to order some material and recover it. These sides are one, one piece. And then the front, all the way up to the top and to the back, edge is one piece so and then the back itself it's of course a separate piece so i'm going to take everything off of this that i can uh, take that little emblem for the telephoto control take the handle off and this back has screws in the hinges 
just take them off in here. Should be about everything. Oh, this has staples in this fiber board here. It goes over the controls. So I can take them out. Uh, there's little screws in this mesh. I'll take, the, take it off. Get everything taken off that I can and then I'll try to save the material as I take it off. And I can use that to cut the new material. Have a pattern then. Got all the upholstery off and I've marked the left to right side, top, box, bottom. Uh, of course that's the back. It's kind of self-explanatory there. Got it all off and that'll be my patterns when I get my new material. And I will sand the box, the wood box, before I put the new material on. But came off pretty easy. That old glue glue it dried out pretty good so even after cleaning that old material it just looks so tired and it's got chewed places in it war places and there's a front decorative piece after cleaning it up and I did repaint the grill with some gold paint so it really turned out well it's kind of why I decided to go ahead and recover the the cabinet it's gonna look nice on some new especially on some new material here's my solution on the handle uh, this hardware at one I'm sure when it was new it was a gold color and it was pitted and rusty so I just sanded it and I repainted it with gold paint eh, looks pretty good I think it'll work And then on the rest of the parts, this is the screen for the back, screen for the bottom, hinges, or corner brackets. I'm just going to paint them black, and have them sanded off and ready to paint. So that should make them look a lot better. Most of these screws had some rust on them, so what I've done is separated them out into the different types. And I just sprayed some WD-40. Let it soak around them. And that'll clean them up where I can reuse them. Well, I'm hunting for some knobs to put on the TV. And this is just part of my stash of used knobs. Got another bag right here. I'm open them up too. I'm trying to sort them out. These are pretty much won't work. Here's the final knobs that I've chosen. Uh, this will be contrast, brightness, on off volume, and channel selector. It's not really what I wanted for the channel selector. I mean, I think it would work, but I've got another option of this one, but it's not quite big enough. But I'm going to paint these knobs, so well, I think I'm going to paint all four of them and then just see which one looks best as a channel selector. I really like these because they have the gold center and the pointers and I'll, I won't paint that. I'll just paint the outsides. To keep from painting these centers, I just found some, an old socket that will fit down in there. Of course, tape the top of it up. And then I used another socket to set it on two choices here on the plastic paint that I have. I really like the lighter color, but I'm not sure there's enough in that to do it. This one has more in it. Of course, it is darker. Got a package this morning. Here's the material I'm going to put on the airline TV. And I ordered exactly a yard, which means 54 inches this way, three foot, three foot across. 
this should be enough but I can't can't make any mistakes well, all right I've got enough my new material so got a, my old pieces laid out here on top of the new and I'll just cut them out to match and have that much left over Well, I started with the hardest part first. Uh, that's the back. Not bad. Uh, the AC cord goes here. That's what that hole's for. Well, almost finished with the cabinet. Well, not perfect. I think it looks 100% better than it looked before. As a little added touch, you notice these decorative vents. They came off of a Motorola VT71. I have a couple of extra cases and these just push in. So I pop them out, clean them up with four alt steel wool. That's all that's been done to them. And I think they look pretty sharp. I also added this piece of trim. Kind of highlights the, the vents and I don't know, just makes it look a little different. I'm pretty happy with it. Still got to put the cord here on the back, right there. And this back's on a hinge, and when you close it, the cord interlocks with the chassis, and it's also got a screw that goes in that retainer there. You can tighten it down, make sure the cord stays tight. Antenna connections here. But I'm I'm happy with it. Like I said, while not perfect, it looks a lot better than it did before. So we'll go back and fill these nail holes where I used an air nailer to nail this trim on. And I'll fill them holes. But putting the cat put the chassis back in, or chassis has two. Time to put the chassis back in the airline. I'm gonna do the deflection chassis first because it has a button, the telephoto control button that goes through this hole, and then it has chassis bolts here on the side that go into the chassis to hold it in there. There's four of them you can see on each corner there. The side of this case where the holes go through to where the screws attach the chassis. They have these decorative washers here. So luckily all four of them were still with the set. I'll use them. I'm going to try to use some better looking screws that the heads all match on. Like maybe those those four right there. Okay, got all four chassis screws in with the washers and looks like I have the picture tube spaced about correctly it's up against the gasket so that looks pretty good uh, the telephoto button it's kind of hanging a little so I'll pull that button off and reposition the shaft but first I'm going to put the signal board in or signal chassis Well, that completes the airline restore.
this is a signal generator hooked up to channel three. There's some color bars. I don't see any color though. <laughs> and then there's channel six. Hope you've enjoyed these videos on restoring this Ward's TV. Thanks for watching and see you next time. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.